Hey there, Eli here, and today we're going to talk about how to use Awakened PoE Trade. I'm going to go through each and every one of these settings on each of these tabs and show you what all of these do. Let's start with price check. As you can see here, I have Control and D set up as my auto hide price check, and without auto hide, I have backslash. So, what this does, if I hit Control D, you'll notice it looks like this. If I hit backslash, the background gets faded a little bit. The overlay, if we hit shift backslash in this case, we have our dump sorting tab, we have our stash search, we have image strip. Image strip is this, which is a cheat sheet essentially for syndicate. And here for our dump sorting, which is a little less effective now that we have stash tab affinities, but what it does is you can modify this list by hitting edit and clicking on them will put in the highlight item section, whatever it is you clicked on. So you click on divination card. You see how that works. Open item on wiki is exactly as it sounds. We hit Alt W and we get taken to the wiki page for that item. For map check, this works with another tab, the maps tab here, and you can set in your variables for what you want to be a warning sign, a death sign, and a check mark sign. So what we can do here is I can show you an example. As you can see, I have control W says my map check. So if I hover over this map and I hit control W brings this up, says, Hey, that's over your threshold for a skull and crossbones. And this one is minus nine. So we have a warning sign there. So it's an easy way to check if you have eight mods or whatnot, and it's filling the screen and you just want to see at a glance without really looking, just hit control W or whatever your hotkey is, and it will show you that and you can click off. The Delve Grid, Control G here. If we go to Delve and we hit Control G, we have this square rubric here. If you click off the grid, you can see this just brings up this. On the Chat tab, we have all of these commands. You can add new ones if you want to, and you're essentially mapping these commands to a key. So for example, if I want to say thank you to the last person I talked to, I can hit F2, sends a message, if I wanted to invite that person, I can hit F3, invites them, great. If I wanted to trade with them, I can hit F4, and it throws up the trade request. And if we want to go to my hideout, I have it as F5, for example. And my F6 is go to the last person I messaged hideout. When it comes to kicking yourself with that last command there, you do have to change the name to whatever character you're on. So it's a little tedious but it is effective. For the general tab, I wouldn't really change anything from the defaults. The pixel size is good. Clicking on background focuses the game. This is also good. What this means is if you go here and then click off of it, then it goes back to the game. That's good. Price check is sort of personal preference. If you're interested, you can say account name, hit save and go here, and then it'll show you the seller. And if you turn that off and say no and save, then the seller isn't listed. Now for the fill stat values, I like this a lot personally. What this does, it'll say plus or minus 10%. So when you go to look at an item, it's going to take these values of the item itself and say, okay, I'm going to minus 10% off of that. Why this is useful is because if you click this button here to pop out to the trade window, you have show filters where you have all these values already there, you can activate them and easily modify to your heart's content. And another reason why this is useful is because selling items on Path of Exile, typically you're not looking at the exact values, you're looking at what items are similar to mine. So having a range of minus 10% and then be able to look above to see what the items are that are surrounding the item you're trying to sell in the market is useful information. And there you have it, Awaken PoE Trade in a nutshell. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. My socials are in the video description, etc. Until next time, stay sane, exiles.